hair like she does Oh, she does Yes, she does And if somebody I'm just going to really quickly like introduce this video. I wanted to look like a Parisian. However, I know I'm going by complete stereotype right now. The idea I have for this look is just very fresh and minimalistic, but with that bold look. So for foundation, I am mixing Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua and Jouer's Matte Moisture Tint to create a nice daytime base. I have oily skin, so the matte moisture tint helps to control that, while the Chanel foundation is actually the most beautiful thing you'll ever put on your skin. So that's why mixing them together for me both gives me the perfect color and also really nice texture. And I'm just going to buff that in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Alright, so quick base done. I think it covers up a lot of what I'm trying to cover up, but I'm breaking out on my forehead right now because I am a female and things are happening in my body right now. So that's what's happening. I just think it looks really perfecting. This foundation just looks like a second skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up that madness. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer Stick. As for the rest of my face, I'm cool if things peek through as long as, you know, I have an overall even skin tone, that's all that really matters for me. So now I'm going to powder areas that I concealed um, and the center of my face mainly. <gasps> I didn't do under eye concealer. I didn't powder under my eyes yet because like I said I hadn't done my under eye concealer. I'm using the Garnier Rollerball. I like this for the morning. I like that it doesn't cover up my under eye circles completely to set that part. I'm doing my brows a little differently than I would normally, which is why I'm not just like linking you to my eyebrow routine. I want it to be more defined on the lower portion and then the top part just be really soft. So let's see if I can do that and not go crazy. So I'm just going to distribute the product that I applied there. I'm going to use the Anastasia powder in medium brown since it is a little ashier, but I'm just going to use the dark side mainly for the top part of the brow. Alright, so as you can see, it's a much softer brow than I would usually go for. I'm using a Bare Essentials brow brush for this. I hope they still sell this because it's amazing. And you can sort of see here how I use it to push the hairs in the direction that I want. I want to make sure that skin still peeks through and that the top is softer than the bottom would be. Things like that, just to keep them looking really soft. For a very soft wing liner, I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette and Crave on a Real Techniques detailer brush. And I'm going to take a small amount of that on the brush, as I said look down, here's the mirror, I'm going to look down into the mirror so that I can really push that into my lash line and then create a soft uh, little kitten flick. And that's generally the look that I'm going for. I'm going to take, this is a MAC 217 and just buff over that area. So I'm just going to repeat the same on the other eye. So those are the eyes, and I'm going to use a very separating mascara just to give a nice coat on my lashes, and this is Bobbi Brown's Smoky Eye Mascara, which I have a review on on my blog if you would like to go see it. I'm going to put on some lip balm before I do the rest of the face, and although I am going to do a red lip stain, I'm going to first... Put on this lip balm that's also red by uh, Fresh. It's one of their sugar lip balms. From what I can tell, I don't think Europeans or Parisians just in general are really that much into bronzer. It's a little bit more of just a flush and a slight contour unless, you know, you have the face, which I don't. And so that's what I'm just going to do. I'm using Max Warm Soul Blush. Just an earthy rose color. I do, however, want a bit of contour, so I'm going to go in with Anastasia Contour Kit, as I usually do, with the lightest contour shade, tap off a lot of the excess, and I'm going to go in and just 
right at the backs of my cheekbones, go ahead and contour. I really want to buff that in. And then whatever is left on the brush, I tend to sort of just shape out the rest of my cheek. So definitely going to give myself a bit of a nose contour, just right here towards the tip. And then drag it in, drag it in, new word, dragging it along the bridge. The face is complete. My favorite way to remove lip balm is with a Q-tip, so I'm just gonna lightly roll it along my lips. This also pushes in that color into my lips to start creating the stain that we are going to create. For the stain, I am basically going to use a normal red lipstick. This is Max Russian Red, and I am choosing this over Ruby Woo simply because it's creamier. It's still matte but it's not as matte as Ruby Woo is, and so the creaminess will allow us to push it into a lip, the lips a lot easier. Also using a lip brush, I'm just going to start by pushing this into the lips, then sort of pressing it in with my finger, blotting it with a napkin, repeating, repeating, and repeating. Russian Red is also a little deeper than Ruby Woo, so it's not going to be a pinkier stain. It's going to be a little bit more of a true red stain. I used Max Brick Lip Pencil to outline my lips slightly and then blend that in again with the brush and also set all of my makeup with Urban Decay's D Slick Setting Spray and oh and then I just put some product through my hair to get rid of the frizzies. So that's pretty much my simple minimalistic Taylor Swift slash Parisian-ish look that I was going for there. I hope you all enjoy this and then you'll see more footage too. And if somebody loved me like she do me, who should do me?